This is a walk around tour of the 1981 Airstream Excella 28 foot diesel motorhome. We'll show you inside. This unit was stored inside for at least the last 15 to 20 years. It was made in Canada. And the certificate here on the side confirms that. Let's take a look inside. Step operates. Come inside. As you can see, it is really 100% original inside. It has no unusual smells, nothing. It's not moldy or musty. It's really a nice unit throughout. I'll close the door here and we will give you the tour where we can talk. And you can see inside, it really is relatively quiet even when it's running because of course that diesel engine is right under the doghouse right there we'll start up front and work our way back again being a diesel motor home a diesel airstream it has some different gauges that have been added to the unit for the conventional gas unit the red blinking light is telling me that the door is not secured since it is not fully closed uh, the gauges work uh, the only gauge i know that does not work that i'm aware of is the gas gauge. Now this has a 70 gallon tank, which according to Airstream in the day, rated this at about 15 plus miles to the gallon. So it would get you over a thousand miles on one tank of diesel. So you really don't have to worry too much about running out of fuel on this one. Uh, has all the accessories that came with it. Uh, the entertainment center, the radio does work. I have not tried the tape deck. I'm not sure about the CD radio and uh, the added the musical horn, which is what those buttons are for right there. I don't think that works as well. Uh, they say the gauges are here. You can see the oil pressure is right here, which is running right at about 60 pounds. So it's got great oil pressure and it runs really well. I don't believe the air conditioning works. Again, I've not tried it. It's been cold here in Oregon right now this time of year but uh, it may need to be recharged, would be my guess. Uh, there are map lights on both sides. Those are controlled by the console. There's a switch, which you can see the light on. It's uh, green there, it says map. That's a map light. The upholstery is really in great condition. Again, it really confirms the mileage, which in this case is showing 57,000 miles. And I tend to believe that that's pretty accurate in this case. We have the lights on, you can hear it boosted. The RPM where it's charging. We'll work our way back. Again, the lights are bright. They have two stages on these lights. They have a low setting and a high setting. So at night, you don't have to have it quite as bright inside if you don't want it. All the shades are here, the blinds, everything works. Those are all in good condition. Uh, being built in Canada, this has a banquette, seating, dining table here, and again, the upholstery is all in great condition. You can see the table is removable. You can lift it up out. The center post comes loose and the top comes off. It can be stored up front here, or you can store it in the back as well. Uh, this couch on this side will fold down into a bed, so you'll have extra sleeping space up here as well. All the cabinets are in really good condition. All the doors work, the tambour doors. This unit does plug into 110 power and it has shore power. There's a cord in the back which plugs into any city outlet and it will run on 110 as well for all of your lighting and power needs. Uh, the one thing I did have this unit checked out uh, by an RV specialist they found the water pump and everything works on this. However, uh, the holding tanks, apparently the fittings of the holding tanks are need to be replaced. And it was either they froze or in some just age, again, this being over 40 years old now, it may have caused those holding tanks to fail at the fittings. So keep that in mind. Although the water tank, which is underneath this couch, is fine. And you can fill it with water. It's just if it drains, it'll probably drain out on the street. Uh, for some reason, someone painted this sink with an epoxy enamel, and I don't know why they only did one sink, but there it is. 
and you can certainly remove that with paint remover if you want to go back to stainless steel or you can certainly even replace the whole sink if you're going to. Uh, it has uh, propane of course. Uh, the propane tank is up front on the outside on the passenger side. I uh, again had that checked. It does hold propane. It works. The regulator though may need to be replaced but uh, here again you've got a gas oven and stove. It's clean and in very good condition. Uh, when you're plugged into 110 shore power, you do have a microwave that works, and also you have a dual-powered refrigerator, a Dometic, and again, clean and tidy, doesn't smell, it's always been stored with the doors ajar, so it's not sealed up and doesn't have that old stinky smell you get from things that are closed up and not used, so this is really in great shape. Again, uh, because of the propane regulator, which is what the service person thought may need to be replaced, we have not tried running this on propane, although it does get cold if you run it on 110, so that works as well. Uh, you've got storage space here, it comes with a TV, which uh, is not a digital TV, so I don't know if that'll work anymore, but it is included. Again, we've got uh, a pocket door here that folds over to the back half. This is, we're walking now into the sleeping area, there is a fan up above. There are two air conditioning units, but again, these are older units and likely they should be replaced or serviced at the very minimum. And again, we have not serviced those units. Again, you have another, this is the bedroom back here or the lounge. And you have a, again, a couch here, which also folds out into a bed and you still have room to get around it even when it's folded out so you can get back to the bathroom. Uh, if you're gonna use it as a lounge, you can of course put your television right here and uh, you've got closets in here which do have lights which work so there's closet space uh, his and hers or his and his and hers and hers as the case may be and uh, again plenty of up overhead storage on both sides lighting here and again because the propane system has been checked but again we believe a regulator is what's needed we have not tested the furnace system but the furnace thermostat is right back here. The speakers do work and that comes out of the stereo up front at the captain's position and there are speakers on both sides and if you turn the dial from front to rear speakers these are the rear speakers and they do work. So again coming back here to the bathroom we have sliding door here and it's got a mirror on it and that slides shut. There's a slider on this side as well so that will close off the bathroom area. There's also a shade back here which you can pull down so your protector for people viewing you as you are sitting or doing your own thing back here. Uh, again, sink, toilet, all clean. System was stored dry. So again, for the past 15, 20 years, there's been no water in any of this. Uh, the service person said perhaps a shower valve needs to be replaced. The system was pressurized with air and they tested everything. And this was the only one that so you could hear a little bit of air coming out of it. So the shower valve, that's a standard Moen shower valve, which you can still get replacement parts for. It may possibly just be a cartridge that needs to be replaced. I am not sure, but again, that's a common valve. You can go to a good plumbing store. They will have the parts for that Moen valve. Uh, you've got a uh, medicine cabinet here, which opens. You've also got uh, more storage in here in the back. There are uh, rolled cut carpet, and that carpet are runners, indoor outdoor blue runners, which can go all the way down this entire aisle to protect the carpeting. If you're in a muddy area or you're out camping or hunting or whatever you may be doing and you want to protect the carpet, that's there and it's rolled up and ready to go. So again, a view from the back. mentioned you do have storage here as well. You've got a tambour door. You've got drawers here. So there is really a lot of storage in this unit. Well, that's pretty much the full tour. And again, this is a 1981 Airstream Excella 28-foot diesel motorhome. Thanks for watching.